All right, just got back from Harbor Freight. Got me some shackles on here. So, finish off the bumper. So, got my shackles on the back. Should work pretty good. You know, like I said, I, I like to mount them right here, but that's in the way. So, out here, that should work. All right, so we're on to exhaust. So, I don't know, I could run the exhaust all the way back. I'm gonna run it outside. Probably a bad idea once I get it tuned if it's blowing some black smoke right next to the door, but we're gonna do it anyways. So, I started figuring out where exhaust going and I had it up here to miss a bracket under there and I decided, you know, let's get a little further away from the door. That's too close. So, we moved it back. We're just gonna miss this guy and I, you can see it up in here. But I cut that guy off there. Uh, I'm gonna twist and come up over this and straight out through here. So that's planned. Uh, I ain't got no hole saw that big, so I went ahead and drilled a bunch of holes. And now we're gonna see if uh, it'll cut them out. Uh, got the little jigsaw here with. I don't know what kind of blade this is. Teeth ain't that big on it. It's either wore down wood blade or metal. We'll find out. There ain't teeth left here in a minute and it's bent this way, so I'll do that circle. And this line I drew is a 16th inch smaller. So I need to gain a little here as I go. We'll see how it happens. Look at that, beautiful circle. Uh, had a few things come out better before. All right, oh, we're hitting that bolt there. I'm gonna cut this a little bigger. It is having a heck of a time cutting that for some reason. What the hell is looking for speed up here? Come on. Lost play again. Alright, I'll touch it up with the sawzall. I'm done with that thing. Where's my sawzall? Alright. Now I got some juice. Ah, just cut around a hole with a spur blade. There we go. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. All right, now, of course, I cut it way too small. Now I gotta make it bigger. Quite a bit bigger. I don't know what I was thinking. You get there, little by little. find something mark this out better. This tool looks like it'll cut around a circle. Let's see how this works. We'll get there eventually. Eventually this is gonna look perfect. I should have cut it to drill all the holes right at the right size. Oh well live and learn. But it's not working fast enough. Hum de dum de do. I don't think the grinder's gonna fit in there very well. But maybe I'm gonna spin the grinder in a circle. Keep the hole right up for Ah, it's worth dry. Where's the grinder? Oh. Oh, I cut off wheel. Let's see here. Man, I'm sore. I had to go pour concrete yesterday. The old boss needed a hand. Begged me to come in, so I went in. Told me he'd pay me. He didn't, he didn't have any money for me. Oh, that guy, I tell you. 
He told me to come by today. Swing by and pay me. It's, it's like four in the afternoon. I haven't seen him. So, that's all right. That's, hey, that's the sixth job I haven't got paid for. Hope you're watching this. Oh, I started complaining on here about not getting paid. Man, we got a problem going on. All right. He'll pay me though, he always does. I've been working for this guy, he's one of my buddies. I've been working for him for 20 years. He's always a little behind on my pay. But he always pays eventually, that's what matters. starts next week. Not the salmon fishing. Uh, that's going on right now. I don't salmon fish. If I want a salmon, let's go down and buy one. Oh, they got all kinds of salmon down here for sale. Now, yeah, there's like 200 boats. And they got a fishing boundary where you got packed in, you're driving a circle, everyone's almost touching each other. I, mm -hmm. Nope, that ain't gonna work for me. Can't go there and go fishing. But the big old lake up here at the mountain opens next week for trout. Be a gorgeous lake, 10 miles long. Get out there, get back in a cove, there ain't no one around, privates. Uh, catching fish left and right, having a good old time. So, we'll be up there soon enough. Get this thing done. Oh, looks like there's just enough room for nuts. I don't know how I got that lucky. I bought it, so that should work. And it did. Good start. One's in. Hey, it looks like they might all line up. There we did. Alright, now.
Nick already got this one. Double check. I believe those are tight. Man, that looks good. It'll look a lot better if a piece of saw sticking out. I don't get that done. All right. Yeah, the other thing that happened on here I didn't show you. So I got done pouring concrete yesterday. And I zipped out and I picked up my front drive line and picked up my brake lines. My front drive line, I measured off the wrong spot. So it was a little bit too long. So I had to take it back in and had them fix it. Tell you what though, Vancouver drive line, Jace Flurry, he fixed it for free. Heck. That's a pretty good guy right there. It wasn't his fault that I messed it up. It was my fault. But who cares? Free is free. So, yeah. Perfect gap. Inch and a half up here. All seem to be good. Uh, extra sick tube. Got the back all in and all done. Got new steel braided brake cables. Both sides and up there in the back. I got a bleed the brakes here after a while and then take it for a drive oh uh, wrapping this baby up i just put a new windshield wiper on it so uh, she should be good to go so uh, get this exhaust done and uh get some different shocks on here bleed the brakes few different things we're going to wheel it so uh, that's that's where i'm at so all right well i'll get back to you i'm gonna go take a break all right, well, we're at it again. I was saying, working on the rocks, are ain't working on the rocks, are working on the boat. Oh, well, trout season opens up next weekend. I want to get up to the reservoirs and get to fishing, enjoying itself. So, I picked up this kicker motor right here. Nice little long shaft. Oh, up here, dig this guy out. Oh. Justin scored this off a, a boat for me so that worked out uh, nice freebie there so I gotta get over here and take all this off and winterize it I'm gonna get rid of this side and put the kicker mount there I probably need to re-teak oil these so and you might wonder where is the rocks are at well it's outside we got the wife working on it now so i'm almost done with it i gotta get shocks on it i got the stock shocks but they ain't gonna work so gotta order the shocks order the rcvs and i just haven't decided if i'm going the 19 spline or the 30 spline i know 30 splines stronger but then it ain't gonna fit my carriers. I won't be able to weld my front end. I'll have to go buy a locker. And then the ratcheting lockers, I don't think they're gonna be strong enough for 42s. I think I'll just break them. So, uh, which some people say, well, my stock carrier welded ain't gonna be strong enough for 42s. I'm gonna break carrier. So, I mean, what do I do? So, I either weld it up, get the 19 spline axles, put it in there and run until I break it, or not break it, one of the two, and then order an ox locker at 19 splines, or do I go with 30 splines and just go ahead and order the ox locker now, spend that extra 1200 bucks? I don't know, not sure, I'm gonna call Walt later, he's probably gonna tell me, spend the extra money, so that's my wife's gonna tell me too, so you're just gonna be pissed off, you know, you're gonna be up in the woods, you're, you ain't gonna be able to turn your steering wheel. It's gonna be all locked up hard and everything on a sharp corner. And you ain't gonna be able to reach out and unlock your locker. And I'm like, well, yeah, that's gonna piss me off. But I mean, that that's the life of wheeling, no matter how much money you want to spend. But so, got the wife out here working on the rocks. Are she's giving her a cleaning. So, oh, truck going by. Oh, giving her a fine tuning. So, uh, all this stuff here, you can see on here, she's going to try to get most of all that off. I don't know how she's going to get up in there. going to have to get her toothbrush out and get up in that. But, I mean, most of the biggers are pretty good. So, it's just all the little spots. All the glass. 
and you can see all this stuff. I don't know if it's on the inside or outside. It feels like it's on the, uh, I don't know. I was gonna say the inside, but it looks like it's starting to buff off there with my finger. But she'll scrub on this all day. She'll get her whipped out. Yeah, it's getting better. So. Oh. This was all rusty coming down, and this yeah. was all pretty gross. And this looks like this over here. Um, pretty much. It's getting there. It's gonna be a long process. <clears throat> yeah, so as soon as we get it cleaned to the point where we decide clean enough, because. Uh, you know, if you want it like new, I might as well repaint the thing. Hey, I don't want to do that. We're just going to get it looking good. And then I'm either going to get that uh, wipe on stuff that, you know, makes it shiny and look good for a year and you got to redo it every year. I don't know what they call that stuff. Or get a few cans of clear coat and run over and spray it all on it and uh, <clears throat> kind of just keep the patina look to it. So that's the plan. We'll see how it looks. Oh, and then, uh, yeah, jump in, take it for a test drive. It's about right time to go rip this thing. Oh, I did something last night too to it. I don't think I recorded it. Well, I don't know about last night. It took me almost all day to do it. So, look at that side dump exhaust. I came out pretty good. So, <clears throat> I had to run across here and then it drops down and it hooks right into there so i was afraid water getting in here and then once it gets in here it's gonna build up it's you know it's an uphill back so i didn't get into the motor but i'll blow it out eventually so i went ahead and i drilled a hole right here uh 3 16th hole and I figured the water should drain out of that. So we're all good there. Uh, but it sounds just absolutely killer coming out the side right there. But we'll see. Hopefully the fumes don't bother me. But find out. Alright, well off to the boat. We'll get back at you. Alrighty. Well, after spending the entire day scrubbing on this. I think we got her looking pretty clean. I mean, not all of it's clean because I didn't get down there. But the rest of it don't look too bad. And the black top, well, I think we're just going to have to deal with the streakiness but i got all the rust and whatnot for the actual rocks are itself um i think it looks a lot better personally still got to figure out how to get that window from being streaky i don't know if y'all can see that or not but that's the only one that i can't take the steel wool to well, let's see if I can figure out something. The windows came out clean. And I still got to do the inside, as you can tell. So that will probably be tomorrow's project. What do you think, babe? How's it look? I'm way better than it did. He's done. Oh. Looks pretty good. <laughs>